There's growing frustration by the family of Dylan Rounds, who disappeared on Memorial Day weekend. They feel completely shut out by the Box Elder County Sheriff's Office about the investigation of their missing son. For every missing person, there's a family, and for them, the search continues. Here's ABC4's Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Missing in Utah. Last month, the family of Dylan Rounds asked the Box Elder County Sheriff's Office to remove themselves from the investigation. They wanted another agency to do the work. To date, they have yet to do so, and they have failed to explain why not. But there may be reasons for their lack of transparency. We are kind of the only search and rescue operation that has the ability to get out there right now and do it. Nobody else has searched in the air. They've been out there, like I said, on horseback. It's another effort by volunteers to find Dylan Rounds, who's been missing since Memorial Day weekend. This is video from Heavy D Sparks, who, among other things, specialize in helping with searches. They were actually out there trying to help us because we weren't getting any help, and it was amazing that they came out and did that. It is groups like Heavy D Sparks that the family of Dylan Rounds are counting on. That's because four months after their son disappeared from his farm near Lucene, they claim the sheriff's office in Box Elder County has shut them out and won't offer updates. No communication, no reaching out, absolutely nothing. A former sheriff's deputy in Salt Lake says there's many reasons why law enforcement keeps things close to the vest. We don't want maybe a family member or somebody else to hear about it and maybe repeat it. Um, these are maybe sensitive things that uh, we're waiting for results to come back, uh, whether it be for cell phones or for, you know, lab results. The sheriff's office did name James Brenner as a suspect. He remains in jail on federal and state gun charges. Dylan's mother recently learned he failed a polygraph test. I was told two months ago they had enough to charge him. Whatever happened to that, I don't know. I don't know if it was more lip service. Uh, the system moves a little bit slower. Uh, when you're talking about very, very serious uh, felony crimes, and even potentially murder, there's no statute of limitations on murder. So you can take time to develop your theories of the case. But under Utah law, Sim says victims of crime do have rights. There shouldn't be no communication. There should be information back and forth. And so the family does have a right to be informed of the procedures. And while the family believes the investigation is going nowhere, Bertram understands the secrecy. But we hope that it is because law enforcement has active leads out there. They are actively doing things and they're just not at liberty to share that information. There was a felony warrant for Brenner in April 2021. The sheriff deputies never arrested him until after he became a suspect. That's why there's a mistrust by Dylan's family. If they would have done their job in the first place, our son would still be here. Absolutely. Once again, the Box Elder County Sheriff's Office failed to return our calls seeking comment. This coming Monday, the suspect, James Brenner, will be making his first court appearance on state charges in Brigham City. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.